Hi everyone, it is time for what we've been waiting for. It's time to make a website. So you have thought about all the work you've done, all the work that you've been interested in, and you've focused. So you're not saying, hi, I do everything. You're saying, here's my mission. Um, you've checked out a bunch of artists who work in a space similar to where you'd like to work. You've reached out to them, maybe had some conversations, I hope, and kind of gotten ideas from them. You've come up with a menu that doesn't just say projects or something nondescript like that, but that breaks down. It's an outline of what's on your website, clear and concise right away for everyone. You've created several category pages or the content that will go on several category pages. Um, you've got photos of your work to go on those category pages. You've got some text about your work to go on those category pages. And you've got some photos of yourself and some words about yourself. So now it's time to put all of that together Make a website, woo. So um, I will give you a link to a page that I have with like three dozen different platforms to choose from. And if you wanna use something that's not on that list, you can use that too. But to save you the stress of dealing with dozens of choices, let me say that most people make one of two choices, uh, Wix or Squarespace. Occasionally people will choose WordPress, which is actually what I use. I like WordPress a lot, but I think for most of you for a portfolio, Wix or Squarespace is probably better, a little bit easier. Um, some people think Wix is great and Squarespace sucks. Some people think Squarespace is amazing and Wix is crap. But, you know, to me, they're not that different. Uh, and probably all of the different choices can look the same. It's not like one website can look this way and, and no other platform can do that. Though, so in, in web design, in websites, we talk about front end and back end. The front end is what the world sees. When somebody comes to your page, that's what they see. The back end is what only you or anybody else you give special permission to um, can see. It's the editing place where you design the site, add content, change pages, and so on. So the back end um, will be a little bit different. What buttons you push on Wix versus Squarespace versus WordPress versus Medium versus 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 will be a little bit different. The front end, they all can look however you'd like them to look. Um, with roughly the same amount of ease. You'll be a little frustrated at first because you don't know where the button to make, the thing is centered but you want it on the side or the thing is on the side and you want it centered. Be a little bit frustrating hunting around for those buttons, but you'll find them, hunt around for a little while or find a YouTube video that shows you exactly how to do it or message their tech support or message me um, or message each other, right? Probably most of you will use, normally the class kind of breaks down like two thirds Wix one-third Squarespace, maybe 10% WordPress. So many of you will be using Wix, for example, or Squarespace, message each other, or me, or their tech support, or just find a YouTube video where somebody shows you exactly how to do the thing you wanna do. Uh, but this is our, our week to take all these elements that you've been assembling and thinking about and curating and put them together on some pages and get that site going. Um, there are three uh, modes that that different platforms use free freemium and premium free means you can just have it we don't even want your money so examples of free would be like tumblr or medium those sorts of places um, there are also freemium which means we'll give you the thing for free and if you choose to you can pay us some money for upgrades so Wix and WordPress.com are both freemium models so you can in, you can have a website probably forever for nothing, uh, but we'll run some ads on your site and your URL will be me.wix.com. If you give us a few bucks, then we'll take the ads off and instead of me.wix.com, your URL can be me.com. Um, some of you will wanna buy your own domain name. I strongly encourage, just get your name. Just get glenzookman.com. Don't get I'm a clever artist.com that you'll be embarrassed by a few years from that down the road. Just get me.com. Get whatever you want, but for most people, your name is the best choice. We often have clever internet handles for our Instagrams or other platforms. It, just be you, just be Glenn Zuckman everywhere, obviously, insert your name, not my name, but um, being you is probably the best uh, for all of us. Don't try to be a big agency. You're not Pentagram, at least not this week. Just be you. Uh, you don't have to buy a domain name. You could do that in the future. But if you want, um, let me know if you want any help. There are 
many, many options. Uh, if, if your name.com isn't available, there are many other choices like dot art, dot design, dot photography, the list goes on forever. Um, I can show you where to find those things and how to get them and so on. There are, if you go to Wix or Squarespace or someplace like that, you can just get the domain name through them if you want one. Uh, there are also domain name registrars. I use one called Hover that I like. There are many, many, many choices. I would just say upfront, um, Whatever you choose, uh, don't choose GoDaddy. It's a terrible company. Uh, they've had misogynistic practices for years. They, they always say they're cleaning it up. They never do. Uh, they work against their own customers. It's a very evil company. Not that evil is in short supply in the, in the tech world, but um, I can give you more specific details if you, if you care. But of all the choices out there, at least please don't pick GoDaddy, I would say. Um, so, Go pick something, Wix, Squarespace, or anything else. Get a domain name if you want, um, and put all your content in, and shoot me the URL when you have it, and yay! And then from there, we'll just be refining and you know, doing some critiquing and helping you dial in the most effective, efficient, clear, compelling website you can have. So dive in, put all your stuff online, and let's get ready to share it with the world. Good luck.